What up, tubers? Welcome back to another draft here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numot for all your magic card needs. We got some more Thunder Junction of the Outlaw variety. Day before the Arena opens, so tomorrow we will have our first and hopefully only Day 1 Arena open attempt. But uh, for now, we'll focus on this draft. We've opened Vraska, the Silencer, and Pariah for our rares. Vraska, not that good. 3-3 three, three Death Touch, some treasure abilities. Uh, she's just okay. The, the thing she's got going for her is that, like, she's decent and she is in a good color pair. I would almost rather just first pick this Intimidation campaign, though, and maybe try to wheel like the Raven. I think Cunning Coyote's fantastic. Dance of the Tumbleweeds is decent. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna first pick the Intimidation campaign and see what, what we can do with that. All right, I think we would have been rewarded any way we went. We're going to take a Consuming Ashes here, for example. Uh, we would have had a second Coyote. And then if I had taken Vraska, throw from the saddle would be great. So overall, I don't think uh, I mind the route we have chosen. I mean, here I think throw from the saddle is generally better than, from, uh, than consuming ashes. But since we already have the campaign, I'm happy to take the consume. Wow, that would have been three coyotes in a row. Holy crap. Whoever is going to take red cards is going to be hooked up. Coyote is so good. But no, this is just an easy Soured Springs. Okay. I've made my bed. It's time to sleep in it. No, this is a good pack, though. Bandit's great. Contractor's great. Bloodseeker's great. I don't know which one is the best card here, though. We have a couple of good green cards and then a prickly pair as well. I think I'm supposed to take an uncommon here. But the blood secret, like just having a good two drop in the blue black deck is super important um, because a lot of times you are a little bit slower, but you accrue more value. I'll go ahead and take the contractor, um, but we'll have to see if that pays off. Tomb Trawler is one I'm actually happy taking. The blue black deck oftentimes churns through its library very quickly. Um, with a lot of self-mill effects available as well. Plus, this is just a good two-drop blocker, and then I can sack it to, like, the contractor. So, that was good. I don't know if Emergent Haunting is good in blue-black. I would generally think not so much. It does, like, not very good with Intimidation Campaign. You don't really want to be taking a turn off. Though my only other options are, like, Link Breaker and Dazzler. Yeah, given that I have the Contractor, I don't mind taking the Link Breaker here. That's fine. Collective Defiance, Helicorser, Salvo, Frontier Seeker. What is going on in this pack? <sighs> All right, I'm going to take the Corser at this point. I mean, maybe there's a small chance we wheel the Coyotes. Maybe just nobody is going to take the red cards. I would be very surprised. Red would have been fantastic. That's too bad. Skullduggery is good. Duelist is good. Slick Sequence is fine. I mean, Duelist is incredible with Intimidation Campaign. One mana to trigger it every turn. Oh, it's just... I do not expect to wheel the Coyotes. And after passing so many of them, this is probably not going to work. Hopefully it does, but... If we move this route, the Tomb Trawler is not going to be played, of course. I mean, this is a good start, don't get me wrong. It's just kind of awkward, the cards we've seen after. We're not going to wheel Vraska. What was it, the Raven? Yeah, Raven. That's what we want to get in our pick nine. 
Raven would be great. And then maybe some... Pass some salvos as well, but those aren't super important for the red decks. <laughs> Who's hogging here? So we did finally hit Mythic. Oh, well, I guess not finally. This is day three of the season. And uh, I think we're rank like 20-something right now. So if we can go on a nice little heater, um, maybe we can take the number one spot. But I would guess that at this point... Oh, wow, we didn't wield the uh, Raven, but we did wield a Brute, which... Will be very good if we end up in red black. Okay, that was a good pickup. As I was saying though, uh, we can probably move to best of three here pretty soon if we want. And can you imagine? Turn one link breaker, turn two duelist, turn three, five, four trample. Kind of great. Trick shot and a locomotive. Garbage and more garbage, huh? Heather's not bad. Gigapede's not bad. Let's take the two drop. Okay, so maybe we're going to be red black. Um, actually, I guess I don't even have to be black, do I? Ah, oh, God. All those... Stupid sexy coyotes, man. That hurts really badly, but I suppose there's nothing to do about it now. We do have quite a few outlaws already. That muscle's totally reasonable. All right, pack two. Hell to pay. And another coyote. Uh, what is the right choice here? I am not a big fan of this card. I think it's medium at best. Black just has so many better removal options. Number one card in the pack might be lassoed by the law. If it's not, then Shepard is really close. I mean, I think I'm going to take the coyote at this point. We have a bunch of good cards that can come back around. Another Consuming Ashes here looks fine. Are we going to wheel the Eroded Canyon? We would probably play that. I mean, there's a chance we splash. It's just, if I'm baseline red-black, I don't think the splashing of the campaign is very good. Take for a ride, huh? Take for a ride's very nice with the Deadeye Duelist, making this an instant speed take a creature effect. Gigapede's all right. Iron Fist Pulverizer. You know what? I'm actually going to try taking the Intimidation or the uh, Take for a Ride. We have one way to sack a creature right now if we wanted to try to combo as well. And uh, you can get, what is it called? Convicted Corruption or something. One mana, the one black. Sack a creature, draw two effect. other ways to sacrifice creatures in the format too. 
the four mana three four menace desecrator thingy. What else? Two, three, four, five. Five outlaws that come down before turn five, four even. Gotta take the barons here. That's just too good, right? What do we lose on? Warner Surprise, the next best card for us. Um, this is just so much worse than like at knife point as a token producer. So quill charger, another mine raider, or another link breaker. Pretty happy with quill charger. Eh, I'm gonna take another mine raider. No, we'll take the gold charger. It's fine. Prickly pairs, great. I don't know. I am not super confident with where we're at right now. This just feels like a bunch of okay cards, but nothing, nothing incredible. And maybe that's just what happens when you start drafting red, especially after passing so many other coyotes. Hurts. Hey, what? God. <laughs> How many coyotes is this? We've seen four or something? Five? I don't even know anymore. Assassin would be fine here. Verge would actually be pretty good too. All right. I just... God, we're just so heavy red. I'm like almost wondering if we just stick to like almost mono red for now and then um, try to find a secondary color later if we can't get more fixing. Ah, there goes a Lazav. I wonder if Conduit Pylons here is better than Soured. Probably not. The duelist, okay. More crimes being committed. Tycoon wheeling, too. Eh, I mean, I could be red white. Maybe I open like a Bruce Tarl or something. But we do have a very easy blue splash. So maybe the Intimidation campaign actually is going to come back into the deck. Lackey. Not fond of the lack. Another Mine Raider. Okay, pack three. Caustic Bronco and another coyote, infinite coyotes. And then there's the knife point too, dang it. Ah, uh, Bronco's a little bit too good. We should wheel something out of this pack. Look how many playables are in it. Apothecary, coyote, knife point, ashes, plunder, duelist, yeah. Marauder's good. Uh, derailment's good. Marauder's very good, though, I'm pretty sure. Raven. Oh, splash the double down? Hold up. Three assassins, three mercenaries. That's six. Four rogues, ten. Warlock, eleven. That would be a for fun splash. What the hell? Let's do it. Don't try this at home. I'm just snap picking this Jagged Barons now for more fixing. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, truly, truly a double down draft. So I guess if it's possible, I would like to cut like any of the non uh, outlaw creatures. Oh man, there's a Marchesa now too. Okay, hey. The Intimidation campaign also looking a lot better now. I mean, the Intimidation campaign was already good with the double do list, but... I can't tell if this deck is great or just kind of trolly. I'm guessing I'm sack or ditching the Link Breaker at this point. These Mine Raiders are going to be clutch for the fixing. Um, but the Bronco and the two Coyotes don't allow us to go two drop into Mine Raider trigger. We have three creatures that are outlaws that would allow us to Mine Raider on turn three with immediate value. Another unscrupulous agent or deserts do. Yeah, let's take the deserts do. Need some more removal. I've taken enough deserts now that it's pretty decent. Got excited for a second, but Obeka is not good. We have another Peddler or we have a Plunderer. And again, I think I want the two drop for the curve purposes. There's a Salvo, so I'm probably going to end up cutting this take for a ride now. And that might be the deck right there. Some Grixis Outlaw Crime deck. Yeah, it's honestly kind of neat. Hey, there it is. Oh, God. Look at this pack. I mean, we knew this pack was stacked for us, but we wheeled everything, too. Ugh. Brutal. What do I cut? I hate passing that third do list, but let's get a payoff over another enabler. We have five lands that enable crimes, too. The Assassin's probably really good in this deck as well, since a lot of my creatures are so small. Like, maybe I can cut the muscle. <sighs> maybe I don't need the Salvo. That's my worst removal spell. Because I think the Assassin's probably a better... Removal than Salvo is. Man, we could even splash this Hypothesis. Cool draft. Cool deck. I am not sure how this is going to play out. I'm guessing I don't necessarily want the Hypothesis. Oh, wait, no, that's 23 cards. Okay, so yeah, we can just run it like this. One, two, three, four, that'd be five blue, six, seven, eight, nine red, four, five, six, seven, eight black. Yeah, that's probably great. All right, let's go. Grixis crime slash outlaw deck. Seems fun. Okay, rank 23 currently. Let's win some games and improve that. Naturally. <sighs> is kind of hilarious. I mean, I don't think going to five is going to win me the game, so. Keep this and hope to draw a red source, I suppose. Really? Yeah, 
I am humiliated. Ah, this is just one of those unforced losses, or forced losses, rather. Or at least that's how it feels. Okay, okay, so you're saying there's a small chance. It's pretty good too, but I think this just makes a lot of sense, right? The assassin also lets us play the brute next turn. Aaron. Yeah, all right. I'm drawing well. I'm going to kill the Baron before they can get any value out of it. Instead of playing out the boss here, or the, the brute. Sure. Still attacking is pretty greedy, though. I mean, this is where the campaign is going to start taking over, I think. Right? <laughs> Perfect draw with it, too. All right, starting to get lucky, so I guess I should have shut up about drawing poorly. Oh, now I think we're chilling. We're not even going to play the Barons out. We can go Marchesa into Barons trigger trigger next turn. Bone Yard Desecrator. <laughs> so good. I have no right to say anything anymore. Man, they have a Camball too. All right. Whenever one or more tokens enter the battlefield under my opponent's control, okay. Whenever one or more tokens enter the battlefield under your control, each opponent, okay. So let's drain. Draw. Pedal, trigger, trigger. Probably go for a kill next turn with Desert Stew Trample from the Hellspur Brute, and the Intimidation Campaign is continuing to ping them out here. Yeah, I think we're just attacking with everything. More ping lands. <laughs> so 
this doesn't save them, sadly. Right, because I'm giving minus five, minus five. So they need to sack some more here. Yeah, there they go. Oh, they have to ping me, though. I don't think they can ping themselves. Yeah, I mean, they're kind of going off. Oh, they did draw a card. Oh, I guess they're not dead. Wow, am I going to die on the backswing? I might actually lose on the back crack. Holy crap. Yeah, I could lose on the backswing. All the treasures with Camball actually draining me out, kind of. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, if they have a removal spell, I lose. Crazy. Sack another creature or artifact. Holy crap, what a draw! Oh my god, the crew! I just died. What an insane draw from them! That sequence was nuts! So yeah, I don't I don't like I don't know if there was anything I could have done because if I just don't make that attack last turn. Then they draw the... yeah. Wow. Absurdity. Absurdity. I, I mean, I can't complain. I got very lucky with my draw steps. Our opening hand was garbage. But man, their synergy was nuts. I mean, they had two Barons. They had Camball. Like... That's just good beats. Ugh, that's the most uh, I've seen the black-white deck pop off with synergy. Can't even be mad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just kill the Raven right now. No deserts in hand. We're gonna go Prickly Pear here, because that will lead into Hellspur Brute really nicely, even if they kill one of the tokens. Or one of the uh, creatures. They have the 2 2 flash that kind of get me. I'm actually tempted now that I've drawn the coyote to actually go mine raider into plot. But there is a lot of merit to uh, having not used my treasure since I have campaign in my hand and it's not castable. Sure, bounce the token, okay. Oh, four colors now. All right, well, they're going to take a ton of damage next turn. 5, 10, 12, 13, they go to four. Nice. The Apothecary can help them come back, but the fact that they plotted this means they didn't hit anything else, really. 
Um, more expensive, most likely. Well, I can put them to one here. Actually, if we hit a ping land, we win, right? I need to attack with everything this turn and make sure their apothecary gets traded off. Not hit the ping land. Okay. <sighs> Maybe I should have kept the courser. I figured the treasure treasure of the mine raider might have been more useful, but I guess if we're bouncing campaign, we're already winning that game, you know? I get to draw a card, land from hand. I'm gonna take seven. We have so many cards that immediately win the game here. Oh god, a life linker. I need to draw it like next turn now. They milled one of my lands, and we hit consuming ashes. Nice. Oh, I don't have the mana though. I <laughs> double down. <laughs> All right, I'm going for it. Phew. Bonnie freaking Paul, huh? Okay, on the board. Gamer's gonna game. Let's go on to the next round. Man. It's a keeper. The peddler, if we don't find a land, hopefully can find us one. And the peddler into mine raider gives us a treasure should, uh, yeah, should the unluckiness continue. Nice, okay. Um, now I'm just gonna play out the Barons. And I'm, versus hopefully, well maybe not hopefully, but if they are just green-white, then Marchesa on turn three is pretty good. They're not gonna have nearly as many ways to uh, deal with her. Yeah, I mean, they could just have a throne from the saddle. With turn two Erynx. A little bit of splash action, huh? Steer clear? Sure. It's fine. I mean, 
mean, not really, but if they had it, they had it. This is when it when you cast the spell, right? Yeah, as you cast the spell. So cards these days, they don't allow for as many blowouts, right? Uh, like if this was an old card, it would probably say deals four damage to that creature if you control the mount. So in that scenario, you know, you could kill the mount in response to them casting it and they would get blown out. But All right, how do we want to race here? I think I'm just going to Peddler, Agent, sack the Peddler, draw two, and then hit him, hit him for nine. Hopefully they attack and then just play like a beaver or something. Pass. Alright, I'll just attack with all. Fine, that just trades as well. I don't think I mind them trading off the board a bit. Okay. Badlands Revival. Some kind of graveyard recursion, they keep looking. Can't wait to draw double down next turn and not ever get any value from it. They're gonna main phase the back for more. If they just fight the Bronco, that's okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. Sure. That eats up their whole turn, too. And we're just gonna get more pressure on the board. No whammies, please. They just plot an outcaster? Oh, Sheriff, that's pretty sad. Now remember, I can just cast the Hypothesis to draw two cards. They're just animate or activating the ranch this turn. Bricked and put something on the bottom. Is 
are not playing out their sheriff yet. Okay. Sure. Well, we can just cast it for two mana, no problem here. That's really awkward, huh? 4-2 flying draw card seems too good. Whoa, that is a... Oh, no, I guess the lookout has reach. Never mind. I'm going to say that's a weird block. <laughs> Alright, we have a lethal flyer. We have a fat trampler. They have one draw step plus maybe ranch activation. Should have activated the ranch there. They might have hit a mount. Oh, okay. We'll take it. I mean, very likely they wouldn't be able to do much, but not necessarily dead there. Good beats. And now we're at two and one. <laughs> ah, man, oh man, oh man, oh man. All right. Well, at least that's a good hand. I think I'm just going to pitch the peddler here. As much as I want the two drop, I think I keep the value in the removal. Oh, baby. Can we double down one time? Oh, I need a blue source real bad, don't I? Or something to saddle my mount next turn. Alright, I mean, that's a good draw. I have a feeling I'm not going to get to attack here. Oh, I did get to attack. Ah, I see. Well then, yes, that is insane. That was probably the worst possible card we could have seen here. Jeez Louise. Okay. Um, yeah, we are kind of screwed. I can give minus four, minus four now? Okay, well I guess I can block the Rattle Worm with the 1-1 one, one token here. Take five Trample and then end of turn Desert's Dew. Oi, oi, oi. Opponent is kind of popping off. Oh my gosh, and they can bring back the worm. You know... If I can hit a land for Marauder next turn, that's kind of great. They actually would have won if they had uh, left their worm in the graveyard to copy. Jeez. 
Jeez. Okay, let's see here. Well, I get two of these, right? I mean, I kind of have to sack, even though it ain't very good. That was good. Campaign. Trigger. Yeah, there's no way we can win this, but <laughs> we were so close to being able to do the thing. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Jeez, they get to plot it? No, they should just 6-5 here. Oh no, they can hard cast it. Okay. I mean, I don't think I have outs, but maybe I do. Hollow Marauder, draw two cards. I also make two one ones. Now hold up. There's a there's a small chance. In fact, no, I want to do this before intimidation campaign. Oh, I only get one one one, right? Never mind. Boom. Okay. No, that's good. Holy smokes, we are kind of stabilizing here. I don't think I can afford to take any damage, and this way if they have a removal spell, I don't just straight up die. That's fine. It's really good. How much mana do I have? Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so I can play the Intimidation. That's a brick, sadly. We don't get one treasure, or we don't get two treasures, but we do get one because the second one sees the first. <laughs> this is a crazy game, dude. Decisive Denial. Alright, I need to kill the Lazav now in response. And I have to triple block here. Because if I don't, uh, I take too much damage plus the desert or the rattleworm can grab a desert. So I take two, or sorry, yeah, I take two, go to two. And we are still in this. Holy crap. It's pretty good. What an insane game. <laughs> uh. 
Absolutely insane. See if they have the desert. They do. I got a two. They get an extra bandit's hull, so they get to draw a card. Archive trap? Are you joking? What is going on? What? How is that even right in their deck? All right. Well, that's a crazy end to a crazy game. Kind of sucks that we ground out so hard and then just die to an archive trap, but hey, that that was a cool game. It just the end was very, very anticlimactic. So GG's. <laughs> oh man. All that work to crawl back into that game just to be ruined. Alright. We need to find one of our payoff cards for crimes here. Good looking hand though. It's going to be a little bit unfortunate that I probably have to run out a bunch of my ping lands early. Oh, the hearse. Card's quite good. All right, I'm going to lead on one more tap land and not play D Dead Eye Duelist turn two. And that way I can guarantee that I'll have the mana to Consuming Ashes on turn four. We don't have an explosive derailment, so that hearse is kind of problematic. I think I just take this. What is going on? Man, we are playing against these infinite color decks. Contractor next turn. Oh, they forgot to eat a card with the hearse. What on earth is happening? <laughs> Oh, I see. They wanted the life gain. Okay, that makes more sense. Derp, of course. It's just me being silly. Well, if we don't use it, we're going to lose it. So let's play the contractor. No sacrifice. The do list. That is pretty aggressive, okay. Um, we're going to gain a lot of life here. I think I just take seven.
Are you joking me? <sighs> How? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now we will be the first to say these games are kind of comical. It's got menace. All right, take it. So, let's see. Yeah, I think I have to consume. I mean, ah, I want to play out the flyer so badly. Get the last card in their hand, but I need to do this cuz the menace is too problematic. God, I want the double down so badly too, but knife point seems too good here. Okay, pass. Because next turn we can go knife point, play the ping land. Make a 1-1, one, one, then on their turn with Duelist, make another 1-1, one, one, you know? What is going on, dude? I think we bounce and trade for the hearse now. I go to one here. I think the hearse is more problematic than the security, even though we could triple block the security with the same result. Yep, I'll go to one. We need them to brick for a turn. Okay. Another one, one. Get another one, one, make them discard their land. Nice. Oh, Marchesa now start. So if they brick again this turn, I think we're going to pull this off. I'm at one, though, so if they draw any other ping desert, I do lose. But Marchesa with Duelist is also incredibly stupid. Nice draw. I really would like a way to gain a life here. Okay. If I die to a desert, that's just 
a fitting end, I guess. That ain't it. Go digging. Nice. Okay, that's what we needed. We can gain a life to make sure we don't die to a damn desert here. <laughs> oh my god. What a crazy game. This is just like our other game, except if they have an archive trap, well, you gotta hand it to them. Red splash for like a skewer of the critics. Alright, it's good, but it's way too late. Damage has already been dealt. There it is. Or that would be funny if I accidentally decked myself out. Dude, wild. <laughs> We're having some wild games here. Oh. I mean, even the Archive Trap loss was a fun game, because we were so close. It just, again, kind of sucked to lose in such a fashion. But, oh my. When this deck gets going, it is it is incredibly fun. All right, three and two on to game six. Nice hand, look at that. Incredible hand, even. Duelist with Intimidation campaign all day. Should do an OP. <laughs> Hello? I guess we'll pause until they... Oh, there they go. Maybe just a tough mulligan decision. Forest, forest, burrow feed. The downside of making this play is that if they have a punch effect now, I'm going to get a little bit ruined. Nice. Okay, that's not too bad. Hopefully they don't mill any creatures. Oh, well, they milled a Miriam, which isn't too unfortunate to see. I need to get this second black source online.
And I'm actually gonna kill the Grizzly here, I think. Because they would have to play another creature to saddle the Burrow Fiend anyways. <clears throat> Okay. Holy smokes. I think we're so far ahead. I am just going to pass turn here. And just use my removal spell. Spells, even. I think the only way I'm going to lose this game is if I get too greedy and try to get too much value. Because if I just deal with their first few threats, then it's going to be really hard to lose. And yeah, we want to land. Nice. Okay, this is disgusting. <laughs> I mean, obviously our opponent's not putting up a fight because they're missing, but... Lucky. What can you do? We are basically playing by ourselves there, but man, it feels good to do the thing with the deck for sure, even if uh, there was no no competition. Alright, four and two. Feels good. Wins go up, rank goes down. You can't explain that. Uh, yeah, it's a good hand. This is a hand of the outlaw theme and not the crime theme. Probably just want to have the tap land on turn one. Though it's not a necessity. But I figure we're probably going to want to discard one of these basic lands to the peddler on turn two. Especially if we draw another. Yeah, okay. Double down! Oh my. Alright, I think I have a new game plan now. And that's gonna be to Mine Raider into Double Down into Double Brute. Seems sick. Oh, it's also on a slower hand, it would seem. Is that the best you can do? Nice. See, we do need to play the tap land this turn so I can go root plus. Oh, actually, I can do it all. I can go mine raider into double brute into coyote. Oh, my lord. Too bad we don't get two coyotes, but <laughs> that's very good. Okay, but we can race that. Yeah. 
Is that a good turn? Seems like a good turn. <laughs> that seemed like a pretty damn good turn. Holy smokes. We went for fun and it's actually doing a little bit of work. And both of our losses have been kind of comical too, so... Love it. Good games, but comical. This deck is... this deck is grinding. Y'all righty, on to the next one. Hey, this hand looks very good. Gotta play out our blue source turn one, which kind of hurts a little bit on the crime action, but that's fine. Servant of the Stinger. We're not gonna kill that yet, because we wanna save it for crime action. I'm going to go knife point here first. We might sandbag the Marchesa for a little bit. Oh, okay. Well, we have to kill that. This is at the beginning of your upkeep. Yeah, so I need to kill that right now. Another tap land was great though, because now next turn I can go Marchesa into Barons, trigger the knife point and the Marchesa, and pay for Marchesas. Marchesa just snowballs off so hard, it's crazy. Oko the ringleader, okay. It's pretty good. Oh, I should have pumped it, because they might actually just let it hit for one. Uh, I think I want to kill the Servant of the Stinger here. Oh, it's got First Strike. Oh, that's right. Oh, I should have attacked with Marchesa. I punted huge. I totally forgot Knife Point gives First Strike. Oh my gosh, I'm bad at this game. I am so bad at this game. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was an incredibly terrible play. Okay. Right. I don't think that has come up once until just now, but that was very bad. Yeah, I could have wrecked them. I could have pumped one of the mercenaries. Oh man. Bad play, bad play, streamer. Okay, Let's trigger, trigger. Not find a removal spell. I guess I can peddler away the mind raider and hope to find something. Oh, that works. Okay. That works. First. If they want to chump with Jasper to keep Oko alive, I'm okay with that. One 
thing I hate. And they hit an island. Nice. So a brick for them. So one problem card gone. Jasper still on the battlefield, but we can push a ton of damage, I think. And what in yeah, that I mean that one mistake earlier might cost me for sure. What on earth is that? Okay, we got some spicy brew going on. <laughs> okay. Grabbed another land too. Alright. Trigger, trigger. Duelist is good, but I think we want to take the draw two here. So they're going to block Sack. Or maybe don't block at all, just to keep extra Restless Lackey triggers, yeah. Draw their Swamp. Jasper still sits on the battlefield. They hit Coyote plus Marauder. It's a little bit unfortunate. Twelve cards left in my deck. I have to be a little bit careful that I don't actually get like randomly decked out here too. God, Jasper's so insane. How have we not found a removal spell too? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I don't even think it's correct anymore. I think we just go double down into Mine Raider, into Prickly Pear. Crazy game. Fortunate we didn't hit any damage. Ten cards left in my deck. Oh, that's not a good sign. Alright, what's the trick they have here then? That's okay. Actually, I'm not even going to run out the Prickly Pear anymore. They hit a Dead Eye Duelist. Alright. Because <laughs> we want to hold the the prickly for hypothesis and whatnot as well, right? Yeah. Gold 
Green Hydra 5-5. Five, five. Nice. Can I kill him this next turn? Wow. Are you kidding? Holy smokes. Oh my god. I'm getting pretty unlucky here. There we go. Two cards left in my deck. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Sheesh. Another game, another double knife point down. I almost threw it, though, because that first strike I was forgetting about. Yikes. Jasper. Six and two. We get to play for a trophy with his deck. So cool. Okay, final boss time. Deck's great. Magic's great. Opening hand looks solid enough. We don't have no payoffs. We just have all the enablers here. Every single enabler, basically. Raven. Where are the payoffs? I wonder if I should plotted my... Uh, wow, they're just running out of 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, this seems too good though. And I'm going to need to play out the Soured Springs here so that I can Hypothesis on next turn, right? Yeah. So it looks like they have a punch. Oh, that's fine. Take three. It's not a big deal. There she is. There she is. If they don't have another removal spell, they get pretty ruined by Marchesa value now. And even if they do have a removal spell, I'm going to get to draw one card off of her. Okay, I'll take three. You have a clear shot too? Must be, huh? So I'm gonna go down to 11, and Marchese is gonna die here. Oh, getaway Glamour. Okay, hmm. Not similar, anyways. Bronco. No, don't need the tap land. Extra three. They get their three three back end of turn. This is another game where I probably just need to start killing stuff.
Yeah. Well, I'm glad they didn't go for pressure and kill the duelist. But I'm gonna take... Well, you know what? I might actually just chump at this point. Because my hand is just all gasoline. So let's preserve our life total. I think this feels right. I'm just going to pass now. They know I have the Courser in my hand, but... Shouldn't it be a big deal? I think just going for a double block on the Outcaster is completely a good play. Okay, they're going to order the pinger first. It's fine. Sure. This card raider, kill the supplier. Raven. Corsair. Slam Jam. Okay, feeling good. Bad draw. Agent into no sack. Okay, good draw step for them. They kind of just need to run it out as a 3 3 here, though, yeah. Good draw steps. Now we go campaign, drain for one, consume the 3-3, three, three, smack out. Oh wow, that's a nuts draw too, actually. Oh, this is probably better. Bounce the campaign, make them discard their last card. Reach for this guy, what the hell? <laughs> we drew the barons too, so now we just get to attack with everything. Oh, this deck was so cool. I'm very happy we got to seven wins with this. We got to do everything we wanted. We nearly decked ourselves. We doubled down. We knife pointed. We marchesed. There were some mistakes along the way and some unfortunate losses. But hey, trophy's a trophy and we hit rank seven. So good stuff there. As always, friends, thanks for watching. See you back next time. Bye-bye.